What's good, my fellow Cancers? Trust your amazing intuition for guiding you to this moon message for your love reading for the first quarter moon in Capricorn. So the moon is moving through Capricorn and Aquarius. So this is covering October 2nd through the 5th. And as Cancers, we are always ruled by the moon, right? So we're always feeling the moon shifts. This is no different. First quarter moon energy is halfway up to a full moon. The energy is getting bigger, faster, intensifying. Let me put this charm away, this little guy. Um, and then Capricorn energy is the father of the zodiac. It's our sister sign. Don't know, they're telling me to keep these three out. Okay. It's our sister sign. I wonder if I should keep out the other two that came out. Something's telling me to. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take out three. Why not? And then Aquarius energy is associated with technology. So this is definitely the energy. It's like we could be ramping up something online. Maybe we're getting started with an online business or there could be an energy where we're nurturing friendships online. That could be coming through with this moon energy. But let's see what's coming out in our love energy. So we have the tower in reverse, Aries energy, queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy, two of cups, there's our Cancer energy. Three of wands, Aries energy, the hangman, this one keeps coming out for people, Pisces energy, and king of swords, Aquarius energy, which really goes with the moon. All right, Cancer. So the tower in reverse. This is like the calm after the storm. The shit show already happened. The, your worst fears came to light, right? The rug got swept out from beneath you. And it's really the universe, your higher self, the moon that set this, set this up. So in reverse, it's like the calm after the storm, after the shit show, right? You can breathe easy kind of with that. So the queen of swords in reverse. Upright, this is self-expression. This is really the energy. And I feel like this is kind of like, this could be a breakup. Right? I feel like you might have cussed someone out with the Queen of Swords in reverse because she is all about freedom of speech upright. So in reverse, she is very scathing with her words. I feel like she could be very conniving. She's going for your jug jugular. So I feel like this is definitely you cussing someone out. And I don't know. So the Two of Cups, this is a very happy relationship. This is like the best card besides the lovers for love energy. So it's possible this could be after this happened, but I almost feel like maybe you cutting someone out. Maybe it's not quite cussing someone out. Maybe it's you cutting someone out is opening up the door for love for you in a way. Three of Wands is a new beginning, establishing something new. The Hanged Man in reverse. This is all about scatterbrain energy being up in your head too much. Maybe you've been wondering about like a new partnership or who's going to come in next. So I definitely feel like by cutting someone out, maybe you cut ties with someone even energetically. If you did that recently, you're opening up the door for something new and you can get out of your head about worrying about it because I feel like with the King of Swords, this person's going to see you and they're going to come right in. I'm getting heavy air sign energy. Could it be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini? Give me more for Cancer. And this person, I feel like this is a new energy towards you. I mean, this could be someone wanting to restart something with you. That's also potentially possible with that energy coming out. This could be the same energy. We have weight coming out. They're telling me to take the second one, the top two. Wait, the timing is not quite right. Marriage, this relationship is moving toward a sacred union and spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All right, Cancer. So this could definitely be for some of you, someone from the past. And for some of you, this is someone where it's like you have to wait to meet this person a little bit because it is leading to marriage, right? Whether or not this is a past energy or a future energy, someone you've yet to meet, I feel like this is all coinciding. It's all synchronizing. It's all harmonizing. <clears throat> and there's a bigger lesson here. There's something bigger in meeting this person that meets the eye. I mean, it could be the marriage energy and honestly spending the rest of your life with this person, but I feel like there's something bigger here. 
free yourself. It's time to be take back control of your life. I feel like this is the universe telling you to kind of chill out, Cancer. Don't worry so much. Don't be so in your head and overthinking. Where is this person? Who is this person? When are they going to come in? It's really just chill out because when you least expect it, this person's going to show up. They're going to gallop in. And they are a very kingly energy, a very godly energy. So with that type of masculine energy coming towards you, even if you are a man watching this, this is definitely the energy of expect someone to come in, right? It's not like you have to go out and get them. They're coming to you. Sun, the happiest card in the deck always. So with the sun energy, there's something very much to look forward to. Um, there could be, I was almost going to say, there could be something on the 31st, possibly the 30th, but this could also be the 31st of October and this moon phase right here is opening up this energy, right? With the sun, it's all about shining brightly, opening yourself up. <clears throat> so it's possible this moon energy right here, the first quarter moon in Capricorn is opening up this energy for you and this person. You might meet them on Halloween with the 31st coming out. More for Cancer. Tell me more for Cancer and this person that's coming in. Or I should say reconnect with this person if you are reconnecting with someone. Jaguar. I feel like this person's lurking in the shadows. I'm kind of getting that with the tower in reverse too. Even with the hangman in reverse and the king of swords, it's almost like someone's looking from the outside in and the three of wands. I feel like someone's looking in at you and even if they don't know they're manifesting you or moving towards you specifically, it's like they have all these things that they want to check off on a list. And I feel like you subscribe to all of those. Like you're beautiful, you're funny, you have a good sense of humor, like you're, you have a great personality. It's like all these things they want in a mate, you fulfill. And I feel like whether or not they realize it's you physically, you're the energy they're attracting. Tell me more for Cancer and this person. First quarter moon energy. One already fell out. All right. So we have this sea turtle coming out, this flow energy on top of marriage. So you guys are literally just flowing to each other. It's a very mellow energy. It's not like, all right, I'm on dating sites and dating apps trying to find this person. You guys are just going with the flow. The natural routine of your life is going to lead you to each other. And I'm getting something with like breathe easy with the ribs. Yeah, this is like breathe easy energy. And I also feel like with like every breath you take, you're getting closer to this person. Maybe some of you need to eat more with the rib cage sticking out cancer. All right, give me something for cancer through the astrodays for the first quarter moon and cap. So we have Jupiter energy, which is all about big expansion energy in scorpio which is death and rebirth it's almost like a resurrection so that is confirmation for some of you this is someone coming back for others this is definitely like a rebirth of love that you deserve in the fourth house cancer ruled energy the mother nurturing energy this is definitely the energy where i feel like you're nurturing a connection and it's like really real this time around whether or not it's a same person it's gonna be like the new energy or a new energy for a lot of you i feel like this is a new person so this is really nurturing that the relationship and the energy and the connection that comes to you from this person which could be on halloween so just keep that in mind cancer i hope this resonated thank you so so much for watching and i will definitely catch you in the next moon phase reading very soon